Hey guys, my name is Carlos Mendez. I'm a 3D artist using SolidWorks Visualize. Today in quick tips, using a custom sunlight environment to create a sun study. This is the second of two videos in the sunlight environment. Make sure you watch the first one, which I called quick tips, setting up a sunlight environment before watching this video. The link will be in the description below. One thing to note is that this is a Visualize Pro feature. Just like the first video, you'll need the Pro version in order to be able to do this. So let me start by showing you some examples of what we want to achieve. So here in, not this one, here in, uh, where are you? Uh, videos. Uh, I want to show you here what I'd like you guys to see and expect. We have the Sun Studies examples. You'll see other products that are being lit by this Sun Study, right? And all these are outdoor products. And it's really great because you get to see different products um, that all belong outside being you know being lit and made video uh, out of this in this example this is a product that's used in the beach and underwater this is an architect uh, architectural interior and you see how light reflects and bounces off materials how it goes through glass how it tints the materials inside or a video of how buildings cast light on other buildings in densely packed environments and the last one's probably one of my favorite ones, is the interior of an airplane and how light sets a mood as it goes from one point to the other. So really good environments, really good examples of, of how this, um, this can benefit your rendering. So we're gonna be using the Camaro that we used in the first video. So uh, the first thing I wanted to point out is that uh, you don't need to create a sunlight environment like we did on the first video in order to use this feature. However, we will be using that. We'll be first creating that because we want to make sure that we have more granular control with the with the rendering at the end. And giving it, it is the fact that you're creating a video, you want to make sure you have as much control as possible because it will take a lot longer to generate this video than, say, a still render. So we will start off by uh, clicking on our sunlight environment. And uh, next thing we're gonna do, we're going to switch rendering modes to accurate. That is because that will be my intended output, uh, output mode. So we wanna get the right angle. We wanna make sure that we scrub through the time. All right, so we can get a sunrise and then get a sense of how it's gonna look when it sunsets. All right, so let's see another angle, maybe maybe this angle. Sunrise, it goes scrub through. You can see the reflections on the hood, sunsets. All right, I'm going to do it from here, from this point. I like how this angle looks. Perhaps we can adjust the rotation of the environment a little bit if you want to see the sunrise closer to the center. And then go up and then rise down. There you go, and set. All right, let's say we like that. Perfect. Uh, we don't have to necessarily manipulate any other setting. Uh, we just want to make sure that we can scrub in the, and, and get a preview of how it's going to look. Once we like that, we will switch it back to preview mode to, to avoid consuming more resources as we run through this out. Next step is you click on output tools. And we first want to generate something that is at a smaller resolution because like I had mentioned in other videos before, is that whenever you create a video, you always have to, in order to figure out how long it's gonna take, you have to multiply and keep in mind that it's gonna be, you're creating multiple stills. Um, and you, if you're creating this at the standard video frame rate, which is 30, you're gonna create 30 images per second. If your video is, in this case, we're gonna to aim to make it a 15 second video, you get a sense of it. And just by doing a quick multiplication here, 15 times 30, you're gonna be generating 450 frames all right if each frame takes you 10 seconds you get a sense of you know you're going to be busy your machine's going to be tied up for 4050 seconds which is you know you can figure that out it takes a long time um so we're gonna we want to make sure we like what we what we see and for that we're going to generate something small first you can uh, put you know make make sure the size is tiny actually this is the wrong menu let me go to the correct one uh click on sun study and this is the UI you're going to be using for outputting uh, Sun Study video. You have two sub tabs. The 
first one is relating to when you want the video to start and stop uh, when you want the where you want the the animation to start in the case of uh, the sunrise and where you want it to, to stop in our case once it goes black which is sunset we're gonna say that we have to actually go back and say um, let me pause that for a second well one thing I, I forgot to mention is that we want to make take note and what what time the video what time will the sun rise and sunset um, so let me switch back to the rendering mode here I'm gonna say I'm gonna scrub through time I will want to start somewhere around okay 515 and I will want the video to stop somewhere around 1830 all right so let's go back 515 1830 okay let me switch for rendering modes all right let's see here so we're gonna go 515 and 1830 you can either slide it or, or put it manually I'll leave it at that all right so again we want to first generate a small video so I'm going to um, you can either I, I like I even tweak the frame rate because I don't want to take, take forever so I'm gonna set at 10 frames per second I'll leave it at the correct duration but then in the rendering options I'm gonna make sure I make this a very small video and I will leave it at the correct rendering mode in this case is accurate and I will set it up to 300 passes or even less so all you want to do at this point is you want to send it to render I already did this so I could show you what it is that you're going to end up getting it took me about maybe 15 minutes to render this out it's that one right here double click and you can see it starts in absolute darkness it's choppy but you get a sense of how it's going to look you can see how the shadows there start moving from one direction to the other as the sun continues to travel you can see the reflections on the hood and then how that reflection of the sun on the roof starts to come down from the A-pillar and join it into the side of the vehicle. Right there. And then you see it hide, the sun hide in the horizon. And everything goes black. Great. Perfect. Let's say I like that. That's, that's what I want to do. I'm going to close this. Now that I'm, I'm happy with that result, I'm going to now go and up the settings again back to normal. In this case, it's a 1080. I'm going to do at least 500 in the samples. Make sure it's in the correct rendering mode and then go back to the sun study and up the frame rate to 30, which is what I, what I want to do. Uh, 30 is the standard. Uh, you could go 24, which is the cinematic frame rate that you would see uh, and in theaters. So if that's what you want to match, keep in mind to make sure to create a movie um, you will also be creating JPEGs on the side in the subfolder but make sure you create a movie so visualize also automatically compresses it into a video everything looks good great so at this point you would say start Sun study render and you could set this off overnight since it's gonna take a while and you're gonna end up getting you're gonna end up getting this Can see high resolution the movement of the video is smooth now you still see all the all the movement of the shadows just like before and it's a really great way of showing this to the decision makers your managers the owner of the company and uh, getting uh, your ideas across effectively all right guys i hope that this was very useful to you again if you haven't seen the first video please check it out uh, it's called setting up a sunlight environment uh, Find the description in the link below, and I will hope to talk to you guys soon.